Cougan Cassis Rifle Team in association with Macklin's Jim Arbour. Just all waiting here for high stakes head of tomorrow night's show from the Manchester Arena with me. I've got Joe Gallagher. Joe, all weighed in, all looking in good shape and yeah, ready to go. Yeah, listen, as you know, there's the certain parts in the training camp and that's the uh, final part, uh, the semi-final, making the weight and now it's on to the big one, the fight. Absolutely. So uh, what do you think, shape of uh, Kiko Brilliant. Martinez and Well, Perez? I think Kiko Martinez, uh, as always, comes in, bang on. Dalis Perez looks in great shape. A bit surprised he wasn't as tall as what I thought he was. Um, Dalis Perez looks very confident, which he would have to be as a world champion. Um, Kiko Martinez, I thought, didn't look that confident myself. I don't think he looked that con confident. He looked a bit apprehensive. So we'll, we'll see. Obviously, Dallas Perez is, is coming over and he's absolutely no joke. Crawler's going to have to raise his game tomorrow night in, in Manchester. Unbelievable. I feel sorry for Anthony Crawler because Dallas Perez is an unknown quantity over here. Listen, he's a former Olympian, 2008 Olympian, eight times national champion. He's only lost to Gamboa, a Cuban quality amateur. So we're really up against it. But I do feel Anthony's got to put a career best performance on tomorrow night and we, we might nick it. I do feel both have potential to stop each other and both have potential to win it on points. It's, it's that close of a fight and I do feel Anthony's got to raise his game and he has come back fitter, faster, better, stronger, technically better and um, that's what we're going to need to win tomorrow night. And obviously just coming back to Scott Quigg, obviously uh, labelled it as a dangerous fight for him, uh, which it is, Joe. Listen, Kiko Martinez, you've seen him at age 21, going over and fighting Bernard Dunn, upsetting the apple cart, first punch of the fight, won the world title there. Um, then, like you say, he's been on the road ever since and uh, used to it. He, this is normal for him. I don't know what Kiko will be like fighting at home. Uh, I've been and watched him, but he seems to perform better on the road. So, listen, Kiko takes it all in a stride. It's a dangerous fight. He can punch as hard in the last round as he can in the first round. But uh, everyone's going to be talking about Scott Quigg's power come Sunday morning. And you've got a couple of other fights in the Marcus Morrison also, Jose Burton. Yeah, Marcus has got a difficult little fight there. He's fighting a kid there, 25 wins, 20 knockouts. I think he's got had 18 losses, but he can punch. And uh, Jose Burton's fighting uh, Nathan King, who's a, a durable kid, and you don't know which, what he can turn up on day. Like I say, he beat Courtney Fry not long ago. So we've got two little tests. Another busy night, and uh, imagine if we pull this off, Coog. Four wins for you? Fucking four wins, two world titles. But listen, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We've got a job to do, and uh, could easily go the other side. But... Uh, business now. Let's go let's go and take care of business. Alright Joe, gotta go. Cheers, thank you very much. Best of luck, mate. Thank Cheers, you. thank you.